How's it going you guys? This is 2222 here with another fire alarm video. So we've got the uh, the um, the HVAC running. We've got the water wall and our air handler unit as I want to call it. This is a contactor ca or enclosure that I built. It essentially is just an on off switch using momentary buttons and relay logic to latch the relays. Um, this button is wired in series with the alarm relay on the panel. Put just if you're nifty, if you're tech savvy enough, you'll know how this is going to work. And then that goes through there. So the stop button is essentially just breaking the circuit, and it's wired in series with the panel, which is wired to normally closed. So one of them will break the circuit and cut power to the contactor, releasing the latch. Look up how latching relay circuits work. I'm not going to explain it. Anyways, um, we got the quick start running. I tried to get a walk test. Somehow I had it working on my uh, QSC, or when it was a QSC, but now I can't seem to get it working. So um, I'm going to find my keys, and we will go ahead and start our test. We'll make this a quick video. But welcome to System Test 2. Test both pole stations down here. Test this one. Make sure everything's working. Okay, so we have, I'd like to mention also that I have wired up the, uh, what the fuck? Well, that was weird. My garage door opener was blinking yellow. But, uh, I'd like to, no I'd like, also like to note that for this system test, I have enabled the, uh, or I've wired up the, the Genesis strobes that are on the attic, in the attic, and the, uh, Legacy Xenon strobe that I really don't give a shit about outside that I have wired up to there. And I covered the uh, speaker, the speaker holes in flux tape just to give it a little bit more sealant since it's an indoor rated strobe because I didn't have it's basically a placeholder. And if it dies, it dies from, if it, it dies from the elements, that is. So I'm going to turn on the lights upstairs. I have the power shut off. Some musty ass carpet laid out right there. Plan on making this a little shack of some sort. Ooh, it's kind of toasty up here. You know what? Weather's getting warmer. Don't need the heat on right now. Up here, holy shit, it's actually really warm up here. Which is another reason why I likely am going, if I'm going to put a heat detector up here, it's going to be a very high, like 194 degrees Fahrenheit one. All right, so here's the old square shielded, old style 270 SPO. Very loose, still have no fix for that. Let's go ahead. I need a better screwdriver. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. This is the screwdriver I'm gonna leave up there actually. Actually, I'll leave my 270 screwdriver up there. It's a special screwdriver for opening the, both the, it, it works, it's wide enough. It seems to be, it's a very wide, small, flat bladed screwdriver, but it um, fits very well onto even the tamper proof 270s of today. But I don't have one, I, I don't, I unfortunately don't have one of those anymore, so. I gave that away. That red light. Have it on delayed um, delayed response. For no reason for no good reason since the detect doesn't reset. There it goes. Make sure all of our alarms are active. Coal station, main door, alarm, ceiling smoke, overhead door, upstairs pull, and ceiling smoke. We are good to reset. And there we go. And then once now that we're reset, we can start up the um, heating system again. Well, that we, that does require a manual restart. So, yeah. I'm actually going to put the system into alarm again, just to show you how simple this relay control for the furnace is. That's a Cat 45. That's not a Cat 30. Where the fuck are you? There you are. So you can see it's in alarm. But it won't stay on if I push start until I reset the system. Because this normally closed switch, you but to in order to use this, the, this normally closed switch is wired in series with the normally closed terminals of the alarm relay, so they must both be in the normal position. So as soon as I reset, like you can see, it's still not going to start. Now it'll start. So yeah, pretty simple. Probably not good for the uh, motor on the fan, but I've got the fan running on that ancient fucking Homart 400 there. Made sweet, sweet sear shit from the year, I'd say 1966, date code B6. If anyone knows how those Homart date codes work, I'd like to, I, I would agree with you. It would make sense though, since the, this garage was uh, constructed in 1966. It's nice to have a nice huge ass attic. The way they did these trusses. I'm going to leave this screwdriver up here because fuck that right there. I'll leave it. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later and peace.